Hi, I'm Mario, one of the developers and the composer of Melon Journey Bittersweet Memory. I think for me, like, getting the atmosphere right is really fun. For Melon Journey, the soundtrack is maybe the first thing that I did, and then we kind of like based the mood of the game around that. So we kind of knew what it was going to be, basically. Yeah, I just like wrote a bunch of tracks, and then we d I didn't really know what each song was going to be. It just kind of like naturally came together. <laughs> My favorite one too. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> My favorite one is called Good Question, I think. It's actually like one of the most simple songs. I think that's why I like it so much. It's just like very like, I don't know, it just gets kind of stuck in my head. I really like that when the song is like, it's a pretty short loop, but you just want to like, because you're not supposed to stay in that area for very long, but like you just do because you really like that song. <laughs> Um, definitely, I think, Cave Story, especially when I was first, like, probably around the time of the first Melon Journey, back in, like, 2012, that was, like, a big influence. I was, like, using the same program they used. For this game, maybe more, like, Earthbound, the way it's, like, very eclectic, I like that about it. I guess at the beginning of the project, that was more of a challenge for me. Like, if I had to write to a specific mood, like, okay, we need a part for, like, something scary's happening. Like, or trying to write an exact mood for something was maybe more difficult. And then by the end of the project, I'd just done it so much that, like, yeah, when I needed, like, a certain feeling or something, it's a lot easier to just, like, to know how to get there. Number one, I would say don't think of it as video game music. Number two would be you can't you can't play wrong notes. Number three would be no. Now I'm just thinking, and there's so many things I would want to tell myself back then that are just unrelated. <laughs> I think for me, I just had Notion maybe back then. Like I remember for the first game, I made the songs really really short. I thought that was how you did it for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, I still I still kept that kind of, maybe, those short phrases. Like, I tried to keep the soundtrack really simple too, but just with a little more variety. I, I always just like, like having a project, no matter what it is, is really motivating for me. And then I think you get a sense of you want to work for someone else, you know, because you're kind of working for yourself then in that way. Like if you're just making music, then you really don't have any limitation for what you can do. If you give yourself like a specific, I want to make a game, like maybe I just want to make the soundtrack for a game, but like making the game is the, the vessel to that. There's a track that's, it's like the Thieves, the Cavity Crew theme. It's like a sequel to that. Cause that was one of the first tracks I wrote. And then so I wanted to make like kind of a better version of it. And that ended up getting cut cause I didn't, I didn't really know where to put it. But it's on the B-sides. I guess I wanted to maybe show the, um, like the synth I used. Most of the soundtrack was sampled off of one instrument. It's called the organelle. It's a critter and guitar organelle. And so I just recorded a ton of samples of that and then like sequenced them on the computer. Everything came from that. So it has this kind of, it's kind of like an 8-bit. It has this like really warm, like almost tape layer sound to it, I think. That kind of like gave the whole soundtrack sort of a cohesive palette to it. 